show the world's giant monsters, murderers, and just plain f up stuff. Well, you would like to visit the movies from yesterday, yesteryears, and 20 minutes ago. Let's begin. Thank you guys once again for joining us, and thank you to those who have subscribed and liked the previous videos. That means a lot to us here. The Black Scorpion is another movie with giant bugs. More giant bugs. Hey, Marty and Doc Brown. I'm going to go have these with you guys next time you go back in time. What do you say we start an extermination business together? Great Scott! Well, think about it and get back to me, guys. The Black Scorpion is another massive insect movie from 1957. This one was produced by Warner Brothers and directed by Edward Ludwig. Let's just jump right into this one. This picture begins with footage of Tim Tebow's football career. No, really. It's a series of volcanoes erupting throughout Mexico. And that is destroying everything throughout the country. Mother Nature is pissed at Mexico. This is Dr. Hank Scott, played by Richard Dennings. Remember him from The Creature from the Black Lagoon? Well, hopefully this expedition turns out a lot better for him than that last one. And this is Dr. Arthur Ramos, played by Carlos Rivera. They are headed to San Lorenzo to investigate and study the volcanoes that are erupting. Along the way, they bump into a few telephone company workers that warn them that the terrain ahead could be pretty dangerous. Oh no. Oh no. More evil insect sounds that we need to decipher. That seems about right. They come across a wrecked police car and they find a small child nearby. They call the wrecked car in using the car's radio. They bring the baby with them back to San Lorenzo. Once they arrive in the village and just toss the kid to the side because, hey, psh, not mine, not yours, who cares? The village priest asks them to stay at his place for the night. This is Father Delgado, played by Pedro Galvin. He tells them that other strange occurrences have been happening around them. People going missing, people found dead, livestock going missing and being killed. The villagers say it is the demon bull. The next morning, while the two doctors are packing up to head out, they ignore the army and the priest's warnings to not head towards the volcano. Along the way, we meet our leading lady, returning MMDI champ, Mara Corday. And my God, she looks great in this one too. She plays the Risa Alvarez. She owns her own ranch near the area where the two doctors are headed. While they rescue Teresa, they also grab some rock samples near them. They try to head back to the village to persuade her ranch hands to come back and go back to work. They were pretty easy to persuade, and now we're all heading back to the ranch. <sighs> this little sh is Juanito. Him. He's just a pain in the ass throughout the rest of the movie. He's played by, who cares, moving on. After dinner, Hank tries to score with Teresa by using the worst pickup lines that I've ever heard in my life, and I can't believe anybody even back in the 50s got laid with these pickup lines. Dr. Ramos then cock blocks Dr. Scott and shows him what he found inside one of the rocks, a small scorpion. Just then they get a call from the guys fixing the telephone. But then... these songs like <laughs> really who picks these things i oh god this is frustrating i hate every song when you guys do this fatality the doctors and teresa run to check out the bridge where the men are being attacked and juanito <sighs> yeah unfortunately for the ranch they also get attacked and there's also another eruption <laughs> 
inhabiting, which brings out more of the giant bugs. After a night of full-on terror from the mass of scorpions, we meet Dr. Valenzo, played by Carlos M Muzquiz. Muzquiz. I'm sorry, guys. You gotta know by now I'm horrible with names. But anyway, he's a specialist in organic matter. Dr. Velasco throws the old, these monsters were released by the volcano eruptions and that they are millions of years old and there's only one way to kill them with gas. But first, they need to find the entrance where they all escaped from. Once they find it, Hank and Ramos have to head inside and explore first. Why? Because I have no idea, and this is a 1950s monster movie, and it sounds like a bad idea, but... <sighs> them. Let them do what they want. But, guess who also goes down with them? Juanito! The turd. We see that these scorpions kill each other, by a weak spot in the throat. Inside the cave, there are more than just scorpions. Ugh, there's Juanito. Please get eaten, please get eaten, please get eaten, please get eaten. After their carriage gets destroyed, Ramos rides it up to the top by one hand holding on. Okay, maybe not one hand, but it looks like he's got one hand and I don't know, it makes him sound more badass if I just say he's hanging on by one hand. We'll call it freestyle. But how did he not fall? Once Hank and the little shit get out, they blow up the cavern, close it shut, and that's the end of the movie. No more monsters. But... That's not how these movies ended back then. There was always one that got out somehow. No. Turns out one of the scorpions did escape. See, I told you. And the biggest one of all. Okay, I didn't tell you that part, but you should have saw that coming. Hank suggests there's only one way to kill this monster. The way they saw it down in the cave. The weak spot under the throat. We get a pretty brutal crash scene here with this train. These big bugs aren't messing around. Fatality. After a pretty wild composite scene, they draw the scorpion into a soccer stadium where they hope to zap the SOB with a harpoon gun hooked up to an electric generator. Yeah, this guy was qualified for this job. He shoots first, and he misses, and then he electrocutes himself. Good job, buddy. Now Hank's up. Let's see if he can get it. Oh. Oh yeah, first try, no problem. Good for you, buddy. And, uh, hey, look. All those bad cheesy lines uh, worked out after all. This was a pretty interesting one. It's definitely low budget. You can see a couple times where even the stop motion animation looks kind of, yeah, just not good. But I gotta be honest, I dug the plot to this one. It is the stereotypical giant monster bugs in the desert, but these are prehistoric giant bug monsters that were awoken by volcanoes. I don't know, I found that to be pretty cool. Well, guys, I want to say thank you once again for joining me. Sorry I had to rush this one out. Believe it or not, I'm getting married this week. So you might not hear from me for a couple of weeks, but I will be back. Not sure what we're going to do after this one, but I'm thinking maybe a big green guy from the swamp, which I know isn't a 50s monster movie, but it is a mutated man like in the beginning. We do like covering that stuff. So, hey. Y'all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time on Mega, Mega Movie Drive. Drive.